My name is Donna Rex and I am with the Constitutional Law Group. Our website is constitutionallawgroup.us. Our team has been working tirelessly okay, since March, educating and empowering business owners across our nation to open up fully without any unlawful restrictions. What we are experiencing is economic warfare. And to go along with these unconstitutional mandates is economic suicide. If we, the people, continue to follow these unlawful orders that are being mandated by Governor J. Robert Inslee, we will lose the greatest republic and economy the world has ever known. If a public servant shows up at your business trying to unlawfully shut you down, quote this, I am aware that you are only here to do your job, but I am warning you, do not proceed any further. You are attempting to deprive me of my rights under color of law and are also committing an act of domestic terrorism by attempting to intimidate and coerce me. You are being told to do something that is criminal. USC Title 18, Section 242 makes it a crime for a person acting under color of law of any law to knowingly and willingly deprive a person of a right or privilege protected by the Constitution and the laws of the United States. These mandates are not law. The general rule is that any unconstitutional statute, though having the form and name of law, is in reality no law. In order for statutes to become law, the legislators must first be given authority by we the people, which is found under Article 1, Section 8 in the Bill of Rights. When legislators write law for we the people without our consent, they war against God and the people. Marbury versus Madison, 1803, Supreme Court ruling clearly states, any law repugnant to the Constitution is no law, has no force of law, and can be ignored. An unconstitutional law cannot operate to supersede any existing law, so ignore these unlawful orders and open your business. It has no authority to shut you down. This is where your county sheriff's attention should be. How many of you are aware of the sheriff's authority? Did you know he can arrest these tyrannical governors and he can even arrest the president of the United States if he's doing something criminal in his county? Read the sheriff handbook and memorize the Constitution of the United States found at constitutionallawgroup.us under the resources tab. If you don't know your rights, you have none. Norton versus Shelby County, USC, Title 118, US, Section 425, the year 1886. Show us a county sheriff that does not know the law and we will show you a lawless county. Print this sheriff handbook and then share it with your county sheriff. The sheriff can stop these tyrants from trespassing on your rights without due process of law. We need to find a sheriff who will become the greatest American hero that ever existed once he or she starts arresting these public servants for violating their oath of office and for violating the public trust. Another way to seek remedy is to go to our welcome page and read the notice and then go to our resources tab at constitutionallawgroup.us and read Take Action to educate yourself about the Affidavit Declaration of Truth. Use number template number 11 for Washington State. Serve your governor or public servant who is violating your rights with his notarized sworn affidavit under penalty, penalty or perjury that they must rebut within 10 days. An unrebutted affidavit stands as fact in court. Once the 10 days has expired, go to your sheriff and demand that he upholds his oath and protect we the people from intrusive government and the domestic terrorism that Governor J. Robert Inslee is unlawfully imposing on the people across the state of Washington. Another powerful resource is the NATF, which is the National Action Task Force. Please go to national-taskforce.org. Their mission statement reads, to help defend the people against abuse and misuse of the legal system when it is engaged in the denial of God-given constitutionally protected rights and to seek remedial measures and proper justice so that victims are compensated for the damages that they have suffered using all legal means available. This is economic warfare, people, and it is past time that we educate ourselves and take action. We are 
are in the fight of our lives right now. Not only are we fighting for America, but we are fighting for the whole world because if America goes down, the entire world will crumble under communism. We must become a united front and connect with other patriot groups in all social media platforms. You can and shall make a difference. Ask God for the courage to do what it takes to end the destruction of our republic. Amen. It is going to take one nation under God, indivisibly, and liberty and justice for all. In closing, I am quoting a scripture that General Michael Flynn lives by. Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. Thank you.